First, we start with 80 grams of oats. Take another asthma medication. 41 grams of carbs. I just pull it. Jump intensity. Halfway. Good morning and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I'm gonna show you how a typical day for me of eating and training at home looks like. So stay tuned. I usually wake up at uh, 8 in the morning and the first thing I'm doing is to make my bed. And then the next thing I'm doing is to eat breakfast and now I'm gonna show you how I make my oatmeal. First we start with 80 grams of oats like this then I like to use some of those as well then I'm taking half water and half milk then I just add some sugar to get some better taste and then 10 to 15 minutes in the microwave and while the oats are in the microwave I'm taking the only supplement I'm using betalanin I take that every morning and then I'm taking my asthma medication because I have pretty bad asthma um, and this is a asthma medication I'm taking every morning and you can see I tested me for asthma one year ago in the video here or here and then I make a cup of coffee And for the training today, it's nothing special actually. I had a pretty big week last week and today it's Monday and I'm gonna race Tour of Norway on Friday. So now it's all about just getting prepared. So today I'm just gonna have a two hour ride with some LT1, some stretching and a short jog. So nothing special today and that's also why I chosen to film this day so you guys can see what I'm doing on a normal day at home of eating and training. Ooh. And I really like to have some banana in my oatmeal. And I like to finish it off with some raisins and some honey. And now the breakfast is served. And while I'm eating breakfast, I usually watch some YouTube. It's soon time for training, so then I also have to take another asthma medication. This one I use before every training session. It's called uh, Atrovent. And I'm also using Ventolin before every training session. That's the asthma medications I'm taking during the day. It's a pretty short session today, but it is important to fuel, so I'm gonna bring one Morton bar and in my bottles I'm not going to use sports powder today because today I'm going to show you a cheaper way to get some carbohydrates in bottles and that's sugar so I'm just gonna add some sugar to my bottle like that 41 grams of carbs in a bottle very cheap and also pretty good and to get some taste, I'm just gonna add some soft, as we call it in Norway. And one thing I'm doing before every bike ride is to have a little bit of mobility work. It's injury prevention and I also feel I'm much more ready to ride my bike after doing a little bit of stretching. Done with a short little warm up. I usually do between five and six minutes of LT1 and then around three minutes of threshold before every uh, quality session or session with some uh, either LT1 threshold or sprints uh, just to get a body going. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing a warm up before uh, a session like today is because I want the lactate to peak uh, in the warm up and not in the 
LT1 uh, interval. And I also feel much better after doing a, a warm up because I feel the efficiency is getting so much better when you have a warm up. And down there, you can see my company for today's ride. Casper, he's pushing. I think he's doing a warm up, same as me. Whew. Warm up done? Yeah, I did uh, six minutes, LT1, and three minutes of threshold with some uh, view to max in the last 10 seconds. And so then, now we're gonna do four minutes of LT1 uh, with the all around terrain, like upstairs, downstairs, terrain. GGC, yeah. Oh, you ready? Halfway, how do you feel? Feeling pretty good right now, just halfway in and yeah, legs are okay. The first thing I always do after a session is to make a glass of chocolate milk. And the reason why chocolate milk is so good after training is because milk is the liquid that the body absorbs the fastest. So drink chocolate milk after training. It's lunchtime and because I'm leaving for a tour of Norway in two days time and I will be... I wouldn't be back in over one week. I wanted to empty my fridge before I'm leaving so for lunch today I'm gonna eat some rice with the eggs and I also had some leftover pizza. Usually I don't count calories but today I'm gonna count it in the end of the day and in the end of this video I'm gonna show you guys how much I eat in a normal day of training. Uh, usually I would eat one more time and then go out for a run 5 or 6 in the evening but uh, today I want a little bit more time uh, to recover in the evening so therefore I go out for a run now uh, so then I have to take my asthma medication uh, and I'm also gonna do a little bit of uh, stretching and mobility before the run <laughs> I think the best thing about running when you're a cyclist is that you can use carbon plated shoes on every run session. That's not allowed when you're a runner. 45 minutes easy run coming up. Let's go. As I have mentioned before, intensity control is key. And I have a tip when it comes to easy running. Try to chew a gum while you're running, like me today. If it's hard chewing a gum while they're running, they're running too hard. I just call it gum intensity. First thing first, chocolate milk after training. And I'm gonna do some uh, core and mobility work now. So it will be at least one hour until dinner. So therefore I'm also eating some bread with uh, butter and jam. So. Uh, Yes, it's dinner time and today it is potato, sweet potato, carrot and some chicken.
Dinner is served. Uh, I don't weigh my food, but uh, I will try to calculate how many calories I'm eating this day uh, later. Uh, but for now, I will just uh, eat, enjoy, and uh, yeah. And now, round two. What comes after dinner? Dessert. Ice cream for dessert. One more. Short little evening walk, just because it's so nice outside now. Just have a look. Wow. A little evening snack before I'm gonna go to bed. It's melon, I don't know what this type of melon is called, but it's melon. I usually go to bed between 10 and 11. Uh, it depends on how tired I am. And you're probably wondering how many calories I have consumed today. And I don't usually count calories, but I used a app called Lifesum. Uh, I wrote down everything I was eating today and it ended up being 4,991 calories. So almost 5,000 calories. And I actually think 5,000 calories is my average because this was a pretty normal day, not that much training and nothing special. But for now, I'm gonna eat this melon and then go to bed. And I hope this was an interesting video showing how a typical normal day at home looks like for me. And once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. GG. Yo, what? Bump and grind. This one there, make you bump and grind. Move to the left, girl, move to the right. Step on the line when you bump and grind, like. Yo, bump and grind. This one there, make you bump and grind.